Hello everybody and welcome to Phuket Pals. Now in today's video, I will talk about what you need to know in order to take the GED science test. Now you probably know that GED science test consists of three parts, science practices, science contents, and short answer. But today, I will tell you an extra guidance about GED science test. The first part, science practices. In addition to testing your understanding of science passages and graphics, science test questions are based on your understanding of skills that are used in scientific study and investigation. So these skills are called science practices. After you study these practices, you will be able to work through every scientific study or investigation. The science practices include comprehend scientific presentations to interpret passages and graphics. Second, use the scientific method to design investigations, reason from data, and work with findings. Reason with scientific information to evaluate conclusions with evidence. Apply concepts with formulas to express scientific information and apply scientific theories. And lastly, use probabilities and statistics in a science context. Now, science contents. The content areas can be categorized into three subjects. The first one is life science, which includes the topic of cell structures and processes, human body systems, health and nutrition, heredity and reproduction, genetic and DNA, evolution and natural selection, and the organization of ecosystem. Physical science, the topic that includes it atoms and molecules, properties and states of matter, chemical reactions, energy and work, motion forces, waves, electricity, and magnetism. The last subject is earth and space science. This will include the topic in the structure of earth, plate tectonics, geological cycles and processes, renewable and non-renewable natural resources, weather and climate, the solar system and the universe. So to answer questions on the science taste, scientists and science students communicate about their work in writing. To reflect that, the GED science taste might contain two short answers items. The short answer items are based on one passage, two passages, a graphic, or a combination. You must read the prompt carefully and do the online highlighter to target specific facts and information that you will use in your response because this is short answer response. It is expected to be about one or two paragraphs long with complete sentences and well-developed idea. An effective response must answer the questions and use specific information from the source materials. It should not be based on your opinions or personal experiences. Since the short answer responses are worth up to three points each, take time to understand the question, plan your response, and choose several facts from the information to back up your position if you see this question type. So this is what you need to know for GED science test preparation. If you have questions, just comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to Phuket Pals and I will see you in the next video.